All right, little peaches. Since your parents have left me in charge as a babysitter, I thought I would tell you a bedtime story. Wait a minute. I'm here too. Yes, Diego, but only one of us has real experience as a parent. Sid, you were never a parent. Was too. Those weren't even your kids. They were dinosaur eggs. So? Their real mother almost chomped you. Anyways... Once upon a time, while your parents were waiting for the special day for you to be born, actually your mother and I and your Uncle Diego here were waiting, your father was freaking out. Yes, yes he was. But he did have the idea to surprise Ellie with a great present in honor of your arrival. And good thing, too, because he was making Ellie nervous. You should never make a mama mammoth nervous. So he got me and your uncles Crash and Eddie to scout around and find the crystals he needed. But we'd have to do it all in secret. Yeah, but first they had to wake you up. That was the hard part. It's Sid. You think he's awake, Eddie? Awake means eyes open, Crash. Ah. Is that a sloth with four toes? Four toes! Ah, who? What? Four toes? Sid! Glad you're up. We need some help. We need you to distract Ellie so we can sneak out. This is a top secret mission. Secret mission? Roger! I'm Eddie. Shh, come on, mammals. We're sneaking here. This is the perfect moment to distract Ellie. Keep Ellie yeah. talking so we can sneak by. Hey, Sid. You're awake. Is it noon already? <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Uh, say, Ellie, does, does the sun feel any warmer to you? Huh? Uh, not really. Why? Are you sure? Because you gotta really let it soak in. Sid, my eyes are stinging. Good, good. That means it's working. Psst, Sid, come on. For outstanding swathy service in the field of sneakiness. We salute you. Now to find a baby gift for Ellie. What? Wait a minute. That's the secret mission. Follow us and jump over that log! Slap that shrub and see what it's got! Hey, let's try over here! Sid, follow us! I'm a sloth. We're not known for our physical prowess. Yes, but you're a tree sloth. Ah, then uh, make way for the expert. Mm. Mm. Ah! Ah! Ow! Sid, 
Does it hurt? Only, only when I breathe or talk or think. Ow! Ow! See? It's a gift. And your baby's on it. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. You guys know what goes best with crystals? Parmesan? Nope. More crystals. I saw some through that passage. Cross over the tree and explore away. Uh, are you sure this tree is solid? <laughs> Walking on it's the best way to find out. Good luck! Easy does it! Try your hand at slamming! <laughs> Over here, Sid! Bushes. Yeah, not angry rabbit beavers. Uh oh! We'll be right bad behind beaver, you. Bad, bad beaver. <laughs> Wow, Sid! You are on fire! Yeah! But right now, we gotta get past that boulder! Oh, wait, let me guess. You want me to move it with that stick? Sid! You are on fire! <laughs> okay, guys, I'm on my way! <laughs> Hurry up, Sid! The rock's not gonna move itself! Sid, follow us. What we need is some fire. on the mushrooms to reach the fire! Careful! Don't bounce off yeah. the mushrooms! Yeah. This 
smoke this slot. Get back down here by sliding on that ice. Today's your lucky day, boys. Have I got an offer for you, and you, and what an offer I got for you. Not now, Tony. We are on a mission. <coughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah, but you're gonna need supplies. I got your fruits, your gadgets, the whole shebang. <laughs> I've never even seen half a shebang. How do you even keep a whole shebang in this weather? Talk fast, fast, Tony. <coughs> Listen up and I'll tell you how you, yes, you can buy items anywhere in the world. Welcome back, Sir Trade-A-Lot! I've got deals of a lifetime and bargains for right now! It's a steal of a deal! Again, they're at all the nifty items. You got the basics down already, huh? Fast Tony likes a quick learner. Sid, let's go. Collect them berries and trade them for anything in the shop. Welcome back to the hottest trade shack in town. Sid, up there! The crystal! Halt! Who goes there? Uh, nobody important? Hey, speak for yourself! Oops! Well, whoever you are, you'll have to get past us first! Okay, Sid, you heard him! Watch out, mole hogs! Here comes a spinster! <laughs> Not done yet! You think we're the only mohawks around here? You have defeated the last of the mohawks, but now your destiny lies to the north. Pass that boulder! Take this stick and... And... Use it to clear the big rock!
be able to take her eyes off that crystal. Assuming her eyes are open. Guys, let me get it. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Should we do anything? Ah, he'll be fine. Yeah. I hope. Ow. <clears throat> wow, another crystal. Hey, sis. Bet you weren't expecting that. Courtesy of Air Sloth. Thanks, guys. You're really taking her mind off her swollen ankles. I heard there's another crystal by the edge of the cliff. Wait up, guys! Going kind of fast there! Oh, yeah. Well, that is a long way down when you look at it. another crystal, but it's stuck up on a ledge. But that's no big deal, because it's being guarded by birds! Nerds? Birds, you nerd! Time for some sloth action! on it. Come on, Crystal! If that even is your real name.
Come over here! Have you ever seen such a perfect crystal? You should feel good about yourself for getting. You know, I do feel good. I feel really... Your brothers with love. You guys spoil me. Yeah, almost makes up for all the other junk they do. Okay, it does. Doesn't anybody want to spoil me? Well, little peaches, one of the ways your papa stayed out of your mama's way, I, er, I mean, kept himself busy <laughs> while he was waiting for you to be born, was to work on these little surprises. One of them was a playground for you. But there was too much to do, so he asked me, your Uncle Sid, for a little help. In retrospect, your Uncle Sid probably wasn't the best choice. Shh! Hey, Sid. Really appreciate you lending a paw here. You see, I built this awesome playground, but my kid's coming any day now, and I need to baby-proof the place. Look at this, the only game our kid can play here is Daddy Brings You to the Doctor. I hear you. Now what can Uncle Sid do for you? Well, let's see. You can pad those sharp, eye-poking-out rocks with leaves. You can put mud on those sharp rocks over there. Oh yeah, and you could melt the sharp icicles in the cave. No, now those are a hazard. Yeah, but not everybody thinks so. They may try and stop you. Stop me? The child safeinator? Bring him on. Welcome back, said Trade a lot. That one's got your name on it. I've got deals of a lifetime and bargains for right now. Step right over here. Can I interest you in something else? Ah, oh, the kids will love this playground. Encoded to me. <laughs> now to throw these leaves over the rock. Time 
Time to go melt those icicles. It's kind of chilly in here. Bad icicle meet hot, hot fire. No Mohawk is gonna stop me from melting these icicles. Proof the rest of the playground. Oh, now it's like a big bed for sleepy heads. Sid, you actually did it! Now all that's left is for me to uproot those tree stumps. Ah, oh, the playground looks safer already! left is for me to uproot those tree stumps. Ah, oh, the playground looks safer already. Oh. 
Whoa, 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 what was that? Too bad we didn't call and frank-proof the playground. But hey, I couldn't move those large rocks earlier. But maybe they can. I got an idea. Uh, does this idea include me? If you can get on one of their backs, you can guide them into the rocks. This is what happens when I wake up before noon. Let's see if rhinos eat mud balls. Mm. Come on, come and get me. Did that hurt? I'm never, ever doing this again. Hey, thanks for your help, my rhino friend. If rhinos eat mud balls. Come on, come and get me. I'm never, ever doing this again. Did that hurt? baby loves it. Well then the baby will really love this. An ice mobile. The baby thinks you're the best dad ever. Whoa! And where did you get all the energy to baby proof Whoa. this place? <laughs> hey, is it okay? Oh, he's probably just shocked that we're nowhere to be found on your special family ice mobile. Sometimes, little peaches, even your uncles are wrong about stuff. And by your uncles, I mean Diego. Oh, not this again. He thought that since he wasn't asked to participate in the goings-on with the gift for you, that he wasn't part of our family anymore. He could have asked, of course. Every time. But no! <sighs> so your Uncle Diego went off. Off into the wilderness. Oh, he was sure that all this family life had dulled his hunter's touch. So he came up with the perfect test.
What's the matter? Need a break or something? I was just warming up. Ooh, well, when you're warmed up, let me know. So I can blow your stripes off! All right, little one. Enough of my story. Let me tell you about your Uncle Sid. What? You've got nothing. I'm clean above reproach. La 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 la. He thought that since everyone was busy waiting for you to be born, that nobody wanted to be his friend anymore. Oh. So he thought that he would go off and find some new friends. Wherever he might find them. Okay, nothing to freak out about. I'm good at making friends. Oh, there's my future herd. Hello, hey, hello, fey, Uri, fey, and fey. Hmm. I guess they don't know sloth Latin. Whoa! Yo! Okay, I'm not that desperate for friends. Well, it's better to be alone in a cave than alone in a cave with spiders. <laughs> Good place for a fire. Mm. 
been fired. Okay, now. Nice.
Okay, okay, not gonna look down. Okay, okay, not gonna look down. Okay, okay, not gonna look down. Balancing, not falling, not crashing, not burning. Must be the wind.
welcome back to the hottest trade shack in town. Take a gander at all the nifty items for trade. You try it, you buy it. Now that is the meaning of upgrade. Only the best for Fast Tony's customers? Keep looking, there's gotta be something you can't live without. Only the best for Fast Tony's customers? I got a burning desire to roast marshmallows.
left you guys here all alone. Don't worry. I'll make sure you're safe. The thing about being a mama, Peaches, you have to learn to follow your mama instinct. Oh. And I suppose you're gonna say that you have this mama instinct? Well, something led me to those poor, defenseless little eggs, left all alone to fend for themselves. Waiting for their real mama. Oh, shit. See, I knew I could be a good mama, too, just like your mama. All I had to do was get them home, somehow. Eggnapper. Okay, now take a nap. No arguing. I'll be back shortly. Now shush, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Don't you worry, your pretty little shell mama's here.
and over we go. I'm the sloth that loves to jump. Up, must go over. No, you don't, Bob. Okay, now look after your brother, or, or sister, or uh, each other. <laughs> Yeah. 
Mama here. Never fear, Mama here. Never fear, Mama dear. Never fear, Mama here. 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 Never fear, Mama here.
Get that sticky slaw! Back off, bird! We are Egbert, Shelly, and Yoko, one happy family. Oh, I say give each other a hug, but maybe that'll be easier after you hatch. Well, little peaches, when I brought those little bundles of egg joy home, your parents were so happy. Yeah, once you brought the eggs back to where they belonged. Oh, what was a mother to do? So I tried to take them back but got caught in a furious rainstorm and watched over them all night. But that night, something wonderful happened. The eggs hatched and my little babies were born. Well, being the young and inexperienced mama that I was... Still are. Well, I thought that fresh air and playtime was exactly what my new little darlings needed. Who could have guessed that they would have played so rough? Look what they're doing to your playground! I'm looking! I'm looking! I'm looking away! <laughs> oh, you are in big trouble, mister! It looks like Sid can't control his dinosaurs. Sid can't even control his head lice! 